you there, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, YouTube music! Tiffany Henyard is back on my email topic list again. Unfortunately, it means another video for you, but this time it's something different. We all know about her leader outbursts. Y'all forget I am the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. If y'all ain't learned that yet, the mayor, not the trustees that don't do nothing, that only run their mouth. Y'all don't do no work, no work. And we all know about the corruption. But Tiffany Henyard reminds me of an old school African dictator. Somebody like Robert Mugabe or let's say Joseph Mobutu. Like if you don't get down, you have to lay down. Gunshot! And if she could kill you, she probably would. But if you are against her, you pay. So much so that if she doesn't like you, she won't even give you the financial records from the city. Don't believe me? Let's go to the trustees. Trustee Jason House highlighted that the board hasn't received the credit card statements in six months. As we've been repeatedly asking for information that's been do documented time and again about credit card statements. We haven't received credit card statements in six months. We haven't gotten the electronic warrant list. We yeah, that's how vindictive Tiffany Henyard is. She's a real Bia Bia. Fast forward! <laughs> but that's what happens when you have a person in politics that shouldn't be there. Remember, Tiffany Hanyard won this particular seat with over 80% of the vote. And while she's a terrible mayor, you gotta kinda think, hmm, who put her there? Gotcha! It was you. Give yourselves a round of applause. You stupid. That's right, because the city girl mayor and her charisma and her swag and her way of talking is one of the reasons why you guys wanted her to be mayor. But you know what? When people found out that she wasn't what they thought she was going to be, people start pulling their support. That's kind of common in life. You know, at first we give you the benefit of the doubt, but when we find out that you can't deliver, well, people just start moving away from you or you start moving away from them. But when that happened, she started to do certain things, illegal things like not renewing business licenses. Now stop the show. That that seems interesting for her to do because well, what does renewing the business license or not renewing it for the city do for you? Well, it, it's stupid because even if that person doesn't like you, they're still spending money to renew the business license, which would give the city more revenue, right? And wrong. You have to be a Tiffany Henry supporter, even though she's messing up everything and ruining the budget. You have to support her when she's wrong, then you get to renew your business license. But that's what happened with this guy. He found a way out of it. Fox 32 has information indicating the FBI has launched an investigation into controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Dane Placco has been following allegations of her misspending and joins us now with an update. Dane. Yeah, we've been reporting for nearly two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity as Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township uh, Supervisor. And now we've learned from multiple sources that federal agents are in fact interviewing witnesses as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about yes, your, very serious. your concerns? Very, very serious. Very. Uh, Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago, frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police, he believes because he refused to make a donation to a civic event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And I talked to um, a couple of agents and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me, in touch with me, in touch with me. In touch with me. But wait, <laughs> wait, there's more. You see, guys, there was a restaurant in this same city that also didn't get his business license renewed. <laughs> Want to know why? Hmm. Play that clip. And holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. 
I've heard r rumors that say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has been trying to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. While he has not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved because he's provided catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. I think I've been just targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people. You know, I had the trustees. I've, I've cooked for the trustees. And in a lawsuit filed by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, George's towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. That's right. He was told he's on the wrong side of politics. But let me ask you this. Why is he on the wrong side of politics? First of all, it is illegal for any politician to punish somebody for having an opposing view. That sounds like something that happened in a third world country. Doesn't sound like something that should happen in an American city like Chicago especially a democratic city. Oops, she is a Democrat, right? It's democratic city. But no, she's not a Democrat at all. She's a one party state nationalist in so many words. She wants to rule by iron force. And again, if it was her country, she would actually kill these people or she would actually shoot these people. But the reality goes to this. Rewind! Why are they mad, Tiffany? Why are they upset? Again, they're upset because of stuff like this. Some of the items that we are talking about, Aurelio's Pizza, $131. Best Western, apparently two rooms for $318. Chicago Midway Airport, $200 worth of tax dollars spent on that. Cooper's Hawk, $557.68. Got Dollar Tree on here, $108. Dunkin' Donuts, $49.58. What else we got? Where, where else did we eat at? Holiday Inn in Bloomington, two, four, six, seven rooms, $2,694. Image one, it's every, Italian Fiesta, $113.59. Jewel Osco, $100.50. Olive Garden, $262.78. Pete's Fresh Market, $212.97. And what about the Chevy Tahoe like this? But at the end of the day, nobody comes here to argue with you. Nobody at all. There are bills that we have the right to take off. We have the right to make decisions about. You say that you're running it at the end of the day, because this is going to be the narrative. When we go broke, you're going to say, I wasn't even on the bank account. The trustees did it. When at the end of the day, you're making decisions and spending money and then get mad when we don't approve it because it's not financially staffed. I sat here and looked at a lease that child's paying $149,000 for one of them trucks. You make absolute, that's like when you're 19 years old and you go get a car and the interest rate 27%. That makes absolutely no sense. You're Please not making facts. great finance, excuse me? Please stay facts. But let me tell you, here it is, dated December 27, 2022, the cash price of a 2023 Chevy Tahoe, $93,216.71, interest in APR, $55,929.49, total lease price, $149,146.20. Tell me if it's not facts because your signature is all on it. Like, do I need to drop more receipts? Like, I, I got so many more. Like, we got all kind of police intimidation things that you do, the police budget, you know. What? Oh, I got one more. <laughs> what What about, like, uh, you know, you getting the police cars repossessed like, like this? One of, the, one of the things that we want to put out in this interview is that they are threatening to repossess. Yes, yes, repossess police vehicles because of non-payment, which Trustee House brought up at the last board meeting. So talk about that email you got. For uh, State Bank, which is our police vehicles, the, Durats, the Durangos and the Fiats for Public Works, that bill was approved by the board May of 2023. We received an email stating that those cars will be repossessed if we do not get any payment. payment, payment, payment. You see, all of those things, Henyard, are the reasons why they don't like you. And you know what I've noticed in the black world? That when people dislike you in a political setting or in a business setting, 
I noticed that the lack of accountability is so strong, people typically don't want to discuss why someone has an issue with them. They would rather focus on the fact that, well, you should like me anyway. It's kind of like black businesses, you know, black businesses have a certain entitlement to the black community in America. Many people feel like you're supposed to support me anyway because you're black and I'm black, so why are you not supporting me? Give me your money even though my service is completely terrible. And you're like, no, that's not quality. You need to live up to the standards. Well, you see you black people don't support my business. That's the whole point. And instead of just dealing with the whole fact that, you know what, I can change and be a better mayor, I'm doing something wrong. No, let me punish you because you hate me because I won't let you scam me in the rest of the city. Immature is what it is. Well, hopefully they lock our ass up. So guys, what do you think it's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Put your fire, you deserve the belt, we're out. <laughs>